So today I'm in the garden, putting sand in a can. So today I'm trying out a trick I heard from Simon Phillips during a Produce Like a Pro interview, putting a paint can inside the bass drum. Simon says he got the idea from Eddie Kramer. It helps make the bass drum a little more mic friendly. So I'm going to try it with my drum kit today. So first I have to take the front head off and remove any normal muffling that I have inside the bass drum and replace it with the can. Put the bass drum head back on and tune it up to where I had it before. So now let's have a, a listen to a comparison between my normal muffling and the paint can. So here we have a recording of my bass drum with the normal muffling on these two tracks here. There's a kick in and kick out mic. Then the next two tracks is the kick drum with the can inside. So let me play for you the normal muffling inside. And now the one with the can inside. So playing one at a time, you can't really tell a lot of difference between the two. But when you play them one after the other, you can definitely hear a difference. So check it out. One more. You can definitely hear that the normal bass drum, not when I say normal, the one with the normal muffling inside, it actually contains a lot more low energy um, than the one with the can inside, which is exactly what Simon Phillips was saying. It's a little bit more controlled and makes it a little bit more mic friendly. So there you go, there's a comparison between the kick drum with normal muffling and the kick drum with the can inside. I hope this video has helped you out in some way. Please be sure to check out the Produce Like a Pro interview with Simon Phillips. Uh, I'll leave you a link to the video in the description below. That's all from me right now. I will see you guys in the next one.